Well, you know, the law is considered worthy if it evolves continually with the with the changing needs of the society. You would have noticed that last few years have seen a surge in the economic wrongdoers fleeing the country and and taking refuge uh, in the secure uh, you know foreign settings in the given circumstances uh, what indian authorities could do was to pursue their extradition but that depended on you know several challenging factors uh, for instance you know some countries where these offenders uh, took shelter had had uh, no extradition or uh, cooperation treaties with india or even if they had one uh, you know one was required to follow a due process of uh, law a lengthy process i would say or in other words you know a merry go round of the of the of the courts of law with a with a pylon of you know economic offenders escaping the rule of law in india and the indian citizenry uh, getting exasperated the lawmakers worked out a i would say a pressure tactic in the form of a new law uh, you know called the fugitive economic offenders law uh, it has you know already been applied to a couple of cases uh, you know since uh, its uh, passage the new law uh, you know appears to be the only possible solution in the current scenario where the you know fugitives are uh, taking the indian legal system and the public money is for a for a long duplicious ride well uh, you know the the, the west especially uh, uh, you know if you talk about the united states you know i mean it it considers uh financial and physical crimes at par uh this was never the case in india uh, or, or for that matter entire south asia uh, in in past couple of um, years indian law framers have shown their uh, uh, sincere intention to consider uh, economic offenses as heinous as culpable uh, physical offenses and uh, you know fugitive economic offenders for that matter are no less than robbers and decoits and 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 murderers uh, if one was to go through the new law uh, i mean it demonstrates that they they are uh, as bad as robbers and and this new law uh, you know as applicable to the fugitive economic offenders is 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 highly severe as you know and and it applies to all even those who are connected with fugitives in in question uh, it, uh, it 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 comprehensively provides for a process um, uh, to down uh, fugitive economic offenders from eluding the the course of law in india and 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 some of the provisions of of, of the fugitive law are patently punitive and apparently you know these would be challenged as as being violative of uh, some constitutional provisions including even the the fundamental rights enshrined uh, in the constitution of india but but uh, i would say that the lawmakers had no choice but to uh, make uh, the the said law uh, which was all inclusive well you know the 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 time is is a, is a great credible witness uh, to the occurrences events and experiences uh, hence uh, it is only the time which will tell that whether this law met the desired results or fell flat on its face be as it may uh, you know one object is apparent that the current uh establishment uh, the government is taking earnest and committed steps to bring criminals to the gallows of 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 law thank you thank you so much thank you so much